Sometimes you feel like a nut. Welcome back, Grease Monkeys, to Plane Mechanic Simulator, where we're in the task of checking out the pistons and the piston rings. We have gotten one piston out and taken, well, not taken care of, but it's out. Uh, it is now time to dig right in. I say dig right in. Um, and we need to take care of the other piston and piston rings if I can disassemble this please that'd be nice no 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 up here please there we go now it's clicking on some things there's that spark plug out. I can't rotate all the way around. I gotta uh, exit out and come over to this side right here. Of course it zooms way out. Take out that spark plug. Now can I come underneath here? Hopefully, I got everything out that I need to have out. Is this the spark plugs? I do believe. I'm trying to remember from last episode if I need to take anything else off. I already got the ignition wires off and all that, so I'm assuming. Man, just imagine being a mechanic taking this apart with all the nuts and bolts, just trying to remember where everything goes. I'd have like a table with everything lined up. But if you've taken many of these apart, you probably know where everything goes, every nut and bolt, which one goes where and whatnot. I'm trying to click on that. Thank you. And then that. I can't see. Nope, nope. What are you flashing on? I think there's three of them. There we go. Um, wait a minute. No, what am I taking out? Okay. There's number two. On to the third one. I like how you click on it and it, it just zooms you way out of everything. I think what I'm doing while I'm on this side, we'll click on this spark plug here and take that one out. Then we'll head on over to the other side, take those two spark plugs out. I kind of wish when you click on something, it kind of keeps you in the same field of view instead of like zooming your way back. That would be nice. And then take out that spark plug. Easy peasy, nice and easy. Then we'll come on down here. And this one right here. So the only hard part really is to get like the piston rings off. When they're way up in there, it's hard to get get the mouse cursor like right on the piston ring. It's a little bit of a pain, but I mean, obviously it's doable. That and that. I'm, I'm hoping that this job will help us level up just to see if we get like points or something we can put into something. I mean, obviously there's levels, as we can, as we saw, every time we finish a job, we get closer to quote-unquote leveling up. I don't know what that actually means, but, uh, so here's the head gasket, cylinder, now it's a piston ring, 
boy, it's just a fine line. Piston ring. Piston, piston ring. Okay. Now on to the final cylinder. Make sure we zoom way out because, you know, why wouldn't you? Nope, I'm clicking on that. I just imagine the old days, of course to them, they thought this was normal. Working on engines like this, kind of like upside down. Now everything's overhead valve mostly, so it's much easier, I would assume. I mean, I'll be honest, I've only taken one engine apart in my life, so... It's not like I do it every day. Uh, that just fell down, whatever that was. That might have been, like, the header? Not the header, but the... Uh, yeah, but that just fell to the ground. Head gasket. The cylinder barrel. Piston ring. Piston ring. Well, there's your problem. Um, so, <laughs> I don't think there's anything, if I remember last episode, there's nothing I can fix. Absolutely nothing. So, six piston rings and one piston, huh? So, I guess everything else is fine. It's going to be a big list. Fine, 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 pristine, pristine. Yeah, so everything else, I don't see anything on here is damaged now. So, now we get to put it all back together. Zoom in, please. Come on. Wow, it's uh, very hard. There's one, two, three. If only doing an engine was actually this easy. Screw that on. What are they trying to have me put on the other side? Why can't I? No. No, let me, let me in. There we go. And hopefully we get everything back on that we're supposed to and not have missing nuts and bolts or something not on tight or something, whatever it was when I did the wheel. The landing wheel, I had something not on tight, which I didn't know was possible. Okay, now I gotta somehow get the piston rings on when I can't, I cannot rotate my point of view. There we go, I got a better angle there. Come on. So hopefully I got all three piston rings on. I don't know if they'll let you advance if you haven't. But I think I got all three on. So a lot of work involved in this one, so like I said, hopefully we can level up. We weren't too far off. All of the jobs that we did previously were kind of simple task in a way. All right. No, no, no. One. 
two, three. I mean, in real life, sliding on those piston rings would be just a little bit more difficult, but you know what? We're getting along just fine. But uh, I don't know if I want to be the pilot that takes this out for the first time after I put this together. Maybe taxi around on the runway for about an hour to make sure the engine just keeps on running. <laughs> Those piston rings are hard to get done. Hey, I got a task complete. But that doesn't mean that everything's tight, as we learned previously. I just hope I remember to put everything back on that's supposed to be on. I don't know if I'm supposed to fill this up with oil, though. you think I would have to. Everything must go back on. Is that everything there? I do believe it is. There we go. I can zoom out over here. That's good. Um, until it pops you out like that, because I... Hit that button. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm trying to click on. Alright, there. No. Okay, then it scrolls away in. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. One down, seven to go. You think I would change the spark plugs while you're in here? That seems to be, you know. But who knows, maybe the last time they changed the ends and they just stayed the spark plugs. I don't know. And make sure we get the other side. And plug them in. Very important. I know it doesn't say to check the oil afterwards or change the oil, but I want to see if I can check it. Click on it. There you go. Oh, that's too close. Yeah, it's starting to look like a like a nose of an aircraft once again. Sometimes that sun, though, glares just enough that you can't see the yellowness of the nuts and bolts they have to get on. Nope, nope. Down, down, down. There you go. Slide that on. We will close this up. Um, we'll leave that off, because I do want to get in there to 
check the oil. It doesn't say to check the oil, but I'm just curious. Rotate the propeller. I bet you you can do that later on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, probably like when it says like the engine won't won't run, you can probably maybe diagnose it by rotating the propeller. No, let me um. Uh, I guess that's as far in as I can go. There we go. Now I'm in here. We're going to take that off. Uh, can I not grab this? There we go. Now it doesn't say I need to put oil into it. In the task. Let's see if it gives us a symbol. Is it full of oil or not? It's not giving me... Yeah, it's kind of full of oil. So yeah, I didn't need to put oil into it because it's got oil. It's up to the line, so it's fine. Alright, let's grab this. Maybe. Turn it around. Now we will put this... Oh, no, no, no. Let's make sure we put that cat back on. There we go. Slide the rod in. Lock that baby up. No, I didn't want to... They need different controls for like picking up ladder and walking up the ladder, I think. Climb the ladder. Uh, put it on one, that would help. Disassemble. Jump off the ladder as one would. Oh, I can actually go off the ladder now uh, while it's still going in. Interesting. Alright, now we get to fuel it up like we always do. And he can take off because, you know, he's got more important things to do than hang around for me. Put that in. Now we'll grab the ladder. Can I start? Will it start? Well, by turning the propeller, the engine should be kind of turning a little bit. So just to make sure everything is uh, not, nothing's jammed up or we got a bolt stuck in there somewhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, task. Check pistons and rings, refuel the aircraft. Well, we've done everything, right? Uh, so, um, let's see what happens here. Check pistons rings, check. Refuel the aircraft, we know we did that, check. Oil field over max, some parts make it. What? I was in between the lines? Wait, I only got that many points? That is it? That is it? Wow. 
That seemed like... I should have got more points than that, so I shouldn't have done nothing with the oil. I was still between the lines. I don't know where I went over. That I don't know how much that cost me right there. Don't know. Do not know. Let's see what the other job is, and then uh, we may do it if it seems like a simple one. If not, then I'll have to wait until next episode. Fix the problem with the left side. Ignition system. While starting the engine, I noticed that it does, doesn't react when I switch to the left magnets off. Make sure it's fixed by 12 o'clock. Ooh, so I got a time schedule on this one. I think uh, what we'll do is we'll wait until next episode to do that one there. Because uh, it may be like a lot of searching or whatever. And uh, yeah, after putting the engine together and not getting as many points as I thought I, sh I should, uh, I'm kind of disappointed and frustrated. So <laughs> I think we're going to wait until the next episode. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on Plane Mechanic Simulator. But until then, have a good one.